Hey, how you guys, everybody doing out there? All around the world. My name is Lorenzo for an emergency roadside assistant in San Francisco. Uh, we dedicate ourselves for the roadside service out here or anywhere uh, you like us to go. Uh, if you guys need a roadside service, uh, you can always call us at 415 724 3492. Just want to say, uh, God loves you. Jesus died on the cross for us. Uh, he's out there uh, to help you out and help uh, all of us out there. Whenever you need something, just pray it, pray for them, and pray, pray, and pray, for, and others, and you, and, and it will happen. Uh, just gotta. Keep praying and, and stick with him because he, he's out there for you. So I ended up put that out there. So uh, just let you guys know, uh, you know, our prices is, is, is really good prices out here uh, on our uh, roadside service. Um, this is really got really busy with the prices uh, we have out here on the roadside service and I want to thank you and for the support that everybody gave me all around the world uh, helping me uh, start this business uh, the roadside service and just want to thank you and uh, for helping us uh, succeed uh, here in, in San Francisco and I uh, want to thank God, too, for, you know, standing by me. And I've been praying and everything's working out. Uh, a lot of stuff happening uh, a while back ago. And, uh, but uh, everything, uh, thank God that everything went through. Jesus, uh, a lot of prayers uh, I did. And other people, you know, helped me do prayers and read the Bible and it got me this business, you know, and it's, it's working pretty good. Uh, hope uh, one of these days you guys, whoever interests uh, to try this business or another business, uh, it, it does work out. It takes a little time, but basically uh, Nader is going to help you out uh, on the roadside service or any business that you guys want to pursue. Uh, it's going to help you. Uh, it's going to happen. Stick with it, you know. And uh, like I said, I just wanted to thank everybody out there for supporting me and uh, uh, giving me a chance to go out there and give them a jump start, you know, tire change, um, and battery change, and all that for supporting me on that. And I wanted to say again, thank you. And uh, out here in San Francisco today, it's a lot of wind. Uh, it's been busy. Just got back from a, a jump start in uh, San Francisco with uh, Get Around. They sometimes they need jumps, you know, and or tire change, and you know they call 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 us and we go out there real fast, help them out. They like they really like our service. So uh, yeah, be careful out there today because it's it's a lot of wind. Uh, here in San Francisco, a lot of trees are falling down. I've been out here uh, last night, and uh, this morning it's windy. Our parking lot is just a lot of garbage going up and down there all around the street because of the wind. And I don't know how long it's going to be lasting in San Francisco. A lot of fires going on. Uh, Sonoma, uh, a lot of winds, a lot of power outage out everywhere. And uh, a lot of people, I feel bad for the people that don't have no electricity and all the fires burn. Uh, uh, burning uh, houses, uh, their business, they can't open because no no power, no electricity. Uh, I hope uh, everybody's doing well. I, I suggest, you know, uh, just get a temporary uh, a generator uh, basically, the generator, what it does is uh, it charges uh, its gas, the gas, and it 
goes on the gen on the tank and uh, it gives you the power for for lights or whatever you want to cook. Put a little stove on there. It cooks for you. Uh, it gives you light. It gives you a light. It does a lot of things for you. Also, it's trying to you know get a lot of water and put it on the side. You know, and uh, that's you know much water you have, better it is, and uh, that's gonna help you out too at the same time. And, uh, you know, get some medical, uh, like, you know, band-aids, uh, get a little kit up, has everything in case something, anybody get cut or anything, you could help them out there. Uh, get some food, put it away, uh, you know, carry some with you in the car and put some away. So in case, you know, like right now it's happening, stuff is happening right now. So it's good to invest $20, $30, you know, on the side. And not even that, you know, you can just buy some water, a little bit of food, put it on the side, get a little container and put some stuff in there. And in case something happens, uh, what it just is happening right now all over the world, it's happening here, little by little in San Francisco and all over. So, you know, we need to get prepared uh, for, you know, we might get the big oil quick, we don't know. So at least we have something on the side for a while, and you know we can't depend on the on the federal or depend on people to uh, you know uh, give us uh, food and all that stuff because it's it's gonna be hard once everything's uh, powers off, uh, no water, uh, no electricity, no uh, how no gas. You know how 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 are you going to? to survive you know and it's going to be so much people out here looking for different things and you got to get prepared it's happening you can see it everywhere it's happening uh basically so uh, i'm just trying to you know uh help you guys out you know you maybe already prepared for all this um whoever not prepared you know just get prepared uh you know in my last couple days in my last couple months a week a month a year we don't know so uh you see what's happening if you really go look listen and look out there and, 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 and see what your own eyes what's going on then you find out your own self but i'm just trying to prepare people out there you know i'm not i'm not god or jesus i'm just you know trying to be a messenger uh messenger out there for everybody uh, even for myself too, learning a lot of different stuff, so I want to share it. So, anyways, uh, like I always say, look for God. Jesus loves you. Drive safe, and uh, we out there for you. Four one five seven two four three four nine two. I don't want you to break down, but be safe, and God bless you. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Maybe let's see what we have here, if we have any news out here. If uh, we can hear anything in San Francisco, see what happens. We will speak with a representative of Sonoma County Emergency Operations to see how they are handling this situation. And while the winds are expected to calm down by tomorrow morning, they're expected to kick back up again Tuesday night. Good morning, I'm Margie Schaefer. I'm Susan Lee Taylor. KCBS News Time, 931. <laughs> You're listening to continuing coverage of breaking news on the Bay Area's news station, KCBS. A programming note for our listeners this morning. At this time, we normally play KCBS's in-depth, but because of our news developments with the fire and the winds and the power outages, it will not be playing this morning. We will hear it next week at this same time. The largest evacuation in Sonoma County's history is underway, but it can be physically difficult and even impossible for some people to leave their homes without help. Officials are doing their best to make sure that the vulnerable can still escape the wildfires. Chris Montgomery is with the Sonoma County Emergency Operations, and she joins us live on the KCBS Ring Central Newsline. Thanks for being with us this morning. How are you helping people with the medical needs, and how many people are there? Chris, are you there? 
Oh, we seem to have lost Chris, but hopefully we will be able to reestablish contact with her and uh, get an update as soon as possible. Let's talk about the power outages, Marty, because Margie, because, Margie, because they are quite extensive. In an unprecedented historic move, PG&E has shut off power to millions of people across Northern California. Part of eight of the nine Bay Area counties have people without electricity, with millions affected across the state. PG&E says the utility will be shutting off power for another 21,000 customers later today that is affecting Kern, Fresno and Madeira counties. Nearly a million customers have had their power turned off because of the high winds that are still ongoing this morning. That works out to nearly 3 million people. The utility has said that about 99 percent of Marin County has had its power shut off and the well, I just wanted to give you an update on uh, what's going on on the news and what's going on out here so you guys know what's going on. Uh, if you want to listen to that, it's 7.40 a.m. Uh, they always have uh, specific news here in San Francisco. You can try that out. All right, I'll let you guys go.